hello I'm back and as you can see this has dried quite nicely this has the rocket launcher and his left arm and I've also the two that I did at first I've given the backs or the capes a wash over with Agrax Earthshade to dull them down a bit, make give it some uh, depth in the creases. I'm going to go over a few of the highlight, a few of the uh, flat areas, like here in the uh, is it Elysian Green? Yeah, in the Elysian Green, and I've also. Done these two as well. I've done the same with those as well. I'll give them a, a wash with Agrax Earthshade on the back. And you may have noticed that I've not painted the rock there that he's standing on. That's because I will do that when it comes down to actually basing them. So, I suppose I should really drill out the at the end of the guns, but. Meh. Um, I can do that as and when. Okay, so let's get on with highlighting. And we want, first off, the Scorpion Green. As I say, this is for highlighting, so we don't want a great deal of this. And we're just dabbing on here. We don't want it to be very prominent. Oh, yeah. And <coughs> I did say when I'd done these, I was going to get my, um, what's, what's it sounds, on me, um, salamanders, I'll let you have a look. Well, I think we're going to wait to do that until I've got my um, storm talent finished and do it then. But I do have a plan to actually show you some of the first models I ever painted so I'm going to do that when I finish these um, I'll set them up as though it's a gameplay and it was from the game Space Crusade if you remember that it was a oh dear. it was set on a Space Hulk um, it wasn't a Games Workshop game but it was under license from I think you just took the idea from uh, Games Workshop and uh, that was the game they decided on. So it's, I said just dab on the highlighted, or this colour, just to um, make it look as though there is some light hitting it. So we can actually do a little bit more on his left side because it's just his arm over the top. Um, so that might be an idea. So I'm going to do that there. Um, here we're going to have the missile launcher. As you can see, that's looking a bit different now. Next is arms. And there's just that bit there that needs doing, and that bit there. And then on this arm, it is just. that. 
quite simple really. Okay, next we're going to go with the um, shining gold. And with that we're going to do the winged skull on his chest and the little skulls on his gloves and wherever else you can find a small skull. So. There we go. Do one there. I'll actually do that a different colour. And there's a skull here. There's nothing on the missile launcher. And there's nothing on that hand. So that's that bit done. Next. We have the black to highlight, and for that, it is obviously black paint. Which is Abaddon black in this case. And the Administratum grey. We just want it to look a little bit paler, not all that much paler. We don't want to look a great deal of different difference. But you will see a difference. As you can see, the that's the first highlight colour. The second highlight shade is going to be again with the administratum grey. We want a little bit more just to brighten it up quite a lot now. And with this we can pick out even more of the detail. There we are. There we are. I say it's just to pick out the detail, nothing to nothing else. And there we are. This one, I'm looking at it, looking at it, it's the easiest one to do. Now we want the fang. Let's close the lid on the administratum grey, and we get the fang out. And that is to highlight his face. Wipe a bit of that paint off because we don't need a great deal. Highlight his face, highlight his hands. And then we'll change onto a bigger brush. And it's time for the white. This, as you know, is going on the shoulder pads. The next thing I need to do is try and work out how to get the black salamander's logo. The salamander head. All the ones I've got are white. Mm -hmm. 
There we are. And finally, after all that is done, it's time. Oh, sorry, no, there is one piece I've missed, and that is his trousers, or his boots, and his um, pouches and holster. So I want some dryad bark. We want some screaming skull. Like that and that together, and we'll go over there, the, the, and run down his boots the on that side that's it and then the the and now we want a bit more of the screaming skull added to that mix to brighten it up even more and this is the extreme highlight and this is going to go on the toes of his boots Tread of his sole, well, not on the tread of his sole, the where his sole attaches to his boots. That part there, that part, dry brush over, like so. Um, Constable will get some, that pouch will get some, and that belt strap thingy. We'll get some, and there you go. So now, finally, it's time to do some glueage. And as I said, I don't like gluing the pieces together that I've been painting on. You know, some people say it doesn't make any difference, but I prefer not to. Expose a little bit of the paintwork, or a little bit of the model, sweep the paintwork off, and then add the glue. on that side and this side similar type of thing just scrape off some of the paint make sure that's attached properly <laughs> I've gone and scraped off some of the white paint I'll have to go over that again so I'll just press that on for the time being make sure it's all right and then scrape a little bit of that off. Spread some glue around. There you have the finished sniper, apart from that little bit there that needs retouching up, which I'm going to do now. The bigger brush. So I'm going to have to, by the look of it, put 
possibly scrape it all off and start again, but it's not what I want to do. So I'll let that dry, I may have to go over the weights one or two more times to be on the safe side but there we have it there's the full squad of sniper uh, scouts with sniper guns sniper rifles and missile launcher there you go I hope you've enjoyed this small brief series. It's not been very many videos. Um, I think the next series I'm going to be doing will be if I move this out of the way. Painting this beast. One thing I didn't show you properly was the um, Oops, wrong road round. Let's go in that road. No, it was definitely the first way. That's looking a bit beefy, isn't it? <laughs> so that's the next series I'm going to do painting this beggar. Um, it's not. It's going to take quite a few episodes probably because I still have things I need to um, undercoat and position and build up. But I do say that the only thing I really need to build up is the. Uh, Um, so on this fella, the Tech Marine, um, that needs to go in there, obviously. And then the Tech Marine can be built up. And then once I've done this, it's a case then of getting all my salamanders out and letting you have a look at the full army. So, as I said, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to show you in my next one my first attempt at painting, my very very first attempt at painting. I have redone some of the uh, Space Crusade miniatures because I bought a, a fresh box a couple, a few years ago out of a charity shop so I'm, uh, I'll show you what I used to do and then I'll show you the new stuff and uh, see how it's different. Okay, so until then, take care, God bless, and bye for now.